now we are going to start our second unit that is process management so whenever we are talking about the word management okay what does what or what do you mean by the word management a word that is derived from manage okay manage a manage means what a manager means what a person who manages all the employees what is the concept of management okay i am giving you one small example in our uh, college for our computer science department for example we are having 90 computers okay we are having 90 computers but the number of students that means around 500 like that you can uh, uh, think about around 500 students when we combine second year third year and the final year but we are having only 90 systems now what we will do we have to manage all the 500 students with this 90 system okay we have to manage with the limited uh, facility available or limited resource available so what i will do i will allocate some time okay first 90 persons go from 9 to 12 another 90 persons 12 to 3 another 90 person uh, persons next day 9 to 12 like that we will divide it into batches and the for each batch we will allocate all, we will allocate 90 system okay this is what we are referring as management now we are adding the word process okay process management means number of process are there we are going to manage those, those process okay in a computer system we are having more than one process Whenever a term, see, uh, 90 systems are there, 90 students are there. Is there any need of management? No. Each and every person will have their own computer. They will go and work in the computer. So either resources or the users, number is not matching, then we need management. See, one processor is there. Many processes are there. Now I need management. That is what we are referring as process management. Okay, I think you are able to understand. Processor is only one. Process is more number of processes are available. With one processor, I have to manage all the processes. That is referred as process management. Okay, we will go one by one. <clears throat> so second unit, we are going to discuss about process management. This is what I told in the beginning. Okay. First, let us go through the concept. What do you mean by a process? Basic definition of the word called process. Very simple. In the first unit itself, I told it is a program in execution. When you are writing a program on the paper, it is considered as a program. When you are typing and saving it in the computer, that is referred as a file. Okay when that file is submitted for execution in the processor that is referred as a process when it is available in main memory it is referred as a job or work or task okay, okay so to say it simply what is a process a program in execution what are the resources that are associated with the process when we are talking about process what are the resources that are associated with it? Okay. When we are talking about a process, there must be a processor. There must be a memory. There must be a I.O. devices. There must be a file. That is what I told. Program, writing a program using input device. I am storing it in computer. That is file. Computer is shifted. Oh, sorry, file is shifted to main memory because processor can accept instruction only available in the main memory the file is moved to main memory so i need memory to store also i need memory that is secondary memory from memory it will be transferred to cpu for processing okay. what are the resources allocated okay required for a process and what for these resources are allocated when a process is created we are allocating resources just now i told in the beginning when a process is created when it is created means what when a process is created i need resources when it is in execution also i need resources okay 
what are the process what are the resources required at the time of creation input output device and file these two are resources that are required when it is created when it is in execution it requires memory sorry it requires cpu instruction will be transferred from memory to cpu so i need memory also so when it is created it needs a secondary memory storage okay when it needs created it needs secondary memory when it is in execution it needs main memory two are different okay so we studied what is a process resources required for the process at what time that resources are used for the process okay. <clears throat> what makes a process okay just now we have studied one line definition what is a process okay what are the things that makes a particular thing as a process okay i am quickly going through this because what i have already discussed same thing we are repeating text section otherwise a refer desk to code that what we are writing in a um, paper or typing on the computer editor okay program counter already we discussed about this program counter what is the function of program counter stores memory address of next instruction to be executed so process is also associated with program counter also stack already we have discussed this also to store temporary data example i have told sub function okay for calling a function calling a system call okay when we are calling a function or when we are calling a system call control will be transferred to the particular sub program when we are transferring the control to the sub program current memory address must be stored in the stack that is what we are referring as temporary okay data section just now i told about adding two numbers at that time i needed two values for storing that data also we are using this memory that is another concept called the data section keep dynamic memory allocation so memory can be allocated before starting the program as well as at the time of executing the program okay both are useful suppose if i declare integer a of 10 what does it mean before starting the program itself i have allocated 10 empty spaces under variable a that is array integer a of 10 means already system will allocate 10 empty spaces but when we are using um, that linked list program or using linked list we are using m alloc one concept called m alloc okay what does it mean at the time of executing that particular line only memory will be allocated until then it will not be allocated okay then program is a passive entry process is an active entry. already i have told the passive entity and the active entity program means hard copy okay what you are writing what you are typing that is visibly seen by the user that is passive entity process that is available in the processor that is logical activity or otherwise referred as active entity considered consider problem is 